What I want, peeps, what I want. It's Valerie's Naturals Oracles. How are you doing this fine day? It's actually quite late where I am, but I really wanted to do a video. And guess what? I wanted to do a video because I've got new cards. And I want to see what energy these cards bring. So I'm just lighting this. I'll tell you what cards it is in a moment. I'm just lighting my safe so I can clear the energies. I've got my chakra candles going. I've got these lovely pillows, if you can see them. I've only got the three, the first three um, chakras out, you know, the base chakra, the sacral chakra, and what's the other one? There's another one here, but I've got the first three chakras out today, but I have got all seven pillars, but it was just too much to put on the table. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling about that and get this going. So what's going on for the new year for you people already? Let me know. And if you're new to my channel, please. Please like and subscribe, hit the alert bell, and welcome, welcome to the shenanigans of Valerie's Naturals, Oracles, and the What I Want Saw Crew. <laughs> you should please subscribe, and even better, come and join me on Patreon, because that's where the action really is at. You know, if you've been watching this channel this week, I think um, earlier in the week, I've actually put up a segment of one of my live streams on Patreon, just a segment of it, because they're like two, two and a half hours long sometimes. So I've given you a segment just to give you an example of what my Patreon's lives are like. And sometimes I go deeper especially with the extended I go deeper because I know they're not going to go anywhere else so I do get deep I do get personal and um I do extra stuff on Patreon so you should come and join me over there so anyway let's get on with this story I have no clue what message is going to come out today but we're gonna see together so the cards I've got let me just say and get this out of the way holy spirit holy angels thank you for your guidance protection assistance please clear any previous enemy previous energies good energies only thank you spirit good energies only good energies only thank you spirit please clear any previous energies good energies only thank you so it's gonna be smoky for a bit but the cards i am using is called <laughs> the dream keepers tarot this is brand new 2022 i only got them in the actual amazon yesterday well sunday i got them sunday because we get amazon deliveries on sundays i don't know where you are but here we get amazon deliveries on a sunday as well so i ordered them and i thought i've got to have them because i love the imagery and when you see the imagery i'm going to show you the imagery some of it is very strange like for example look at this higher font this hierophant is like it doesn't come in like it it reminds me more of of and i was saying this to my patrons yesterday but this reminds me more of like the high priestess but that is the hierophant's counterpart isn't it so anyway i want to see what ma magic or what stories or magical stories come out so holy spirit holy angels thank you for your guidance and you know i don't take dropouts because my spirit god is gangster but that's the out of words Com communication you see the magic that we're going to get with these cards. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for your guidance, protection, assistance in reading these cards. Please give me the message for the collective. Please give us the message for the YouTube, the Patreon, the TikTok, whoever collective. Oh, <laughs> oh what that one, please, what that one. Let's split the card. King of Swords and the Fool. Now, the King of Swords is somebody's in their logic wanted to take a leap of shape, so a leap of faith. But if they it, if they're actually wanting to take a leap if that means they've warmed up to something they've realised something they're trying to come out of this logic space this is what I'm getting there what's going on collective this is gonna get deep <laughs> oh well done go on. already we're getting this out from this card these cards are gonna be so some serious passa passa anyway let's get the first card out the page you see what i mean there's somebody here that wants to come forward this is the page of wands usually the page of wands is about good news it's about good messages they want to come forward with some action-packed messages let's find out what comes out with that next 
The sun, they're seeing you as happiness. It's illuminated to them. Whoever this is, do you know what I'm feeling? This is your, your divine counterpart, okay? Or some kind of counterpart that, or your opposite person, or your, you know, flip it, switch it, twitch it, take it how you want to take it. It could be man, woman, non-binary, same sex. It does not matter. The, the soul wants what the soul wants, okay? And what I'm seeing here is somebody, now the imagery in these cards, there's somebody who wants to take some action and it's been illuminated do you see look at this sun card do you see the person looking at a mask like face it's like illumination something's been illuminated to them have they taken off their mask and see take somebody's taken off their mask and see who or is it been mirrored to them the sun is mirroring to them who they've been and now they know they what their happiness is have they taken off the mask oh my goodness these cards are deep people i have no idea what i'm even gonna call this but let's see what else is coming out spirit oh my goodness but you know what's happening here this is the page of cups they suddenly got little feelings. <laughs> they suddenly got little emotions. They're, some, they're in their feelings now because guess what? Not only is the page of wands here, but the page of cups. They know that they need to come forward with some emotional gesture because you're not putting up with the nonsense anymore. None of the flirting energy. You're not putting up with all the nonsense of of them being in their logic this is what i'm getting because we saw the logic come out in the bottom of the deck previously this is somebody who owes an apology or somebody who needs to step forward with some truth and some clarity but what i'm getting is you're not used to this person being in their emotion so it might come across very different i had this message if you watch the the segment of the Patreon, I had this kind of message there as well, that this person might come off to you in a little way different, a little way different, the things you do. This is an old, old time lovers rock. If you're, not even Jamaican might not know it. It's a old British lovers rock reggae. The things you do, I do it in a different way from you. <laughs> oh my God, I can't see. But what I was basically trying to say is this person's going to come to you in a different guise. Something you're not going to be used to. And in order, it's like somebody you've known in the past that you've known a long time and you've known them to be in a certain way. All of a sudden, they're going to come to you in a different way. Is it that they're going to come with their truth and clarity or is it they're just still playing games? And they're getting too old to play these games now because you're just like straight honest to the point. You want commitment. You want, you want somebody who's going to be serious about a situation and somebody not in their mature. Because this is like, this is like immature energy. And it's still wanting to play games but they might come to you in a different guys i don't know but the storm oh the four of cups the reason they haven't stepped forward to you already though is because they feel like you're going to reject them because of what they've done in the background do you see the three choices there and then the one sticking up you see the one sticking up in the cloud this is of spirit this is you the gift that they rejected <laughs> are you getting the message collective are you getting what i'm saying here this is madness. So they reject it. And they think that you're going to reject them as well. But you know what I'm getting from spirit? I'm getting from spirit that you've got to come with come with a listening heart. Come from the heart space, not the logic. Because if you're coming from your logic with these people, okay, you will just reject them. You will give them the queen of swords energy and chop them, delete them, go out to chop them, get in the one, two. Don't even hear them out. But what you've got to do is listen to these people and hear them out. And let them... And because if this is your counterpart, you will see right through them if they're telling you crap. OK, they've got to come. And I've been getting this message since Sunday. OK, step up or step off. Is, the, is what I've got to say to that. Step up, step off. Because this is a new season. This is a new timeline. And we ain't got no time to waste. So, <laughs> the rejection is here. Mind you, this story could change compared to any what I get because I'm doing the path. And I'm going this way, first of all. But normally I read up and down. But I thought, because I'm taking the cards one by one. Oh, now this is the crates, Ricks. In this card, in this deck, let me just put it up close so you can see it. In this deck, this is actually the magician. Okay, the number one card is the magician. Are you creating the 
don't don't feel like you're gonna you're gonna reject them because you're busy manifesting and you ain't got time for their nonsense it's that what it is but again like i said this story could change because when i get the next card set of cards out okay people but look so far the story is somebody wants to step to you because they see you as their happiness they want to take off the mask they've been wearing they, they, they things have been murdered to them that what they did to you you know what people did it's almost like a karmic thing like whatever they did to you the things they did to you it's been mirrored back to them. You're getting it, collective. And now, this person wants to step to you, but they might want to step to you in a different guise that you're not used to. Now, whether it's honest or not is to remains to be seen, okay? But the reason why they're hesitating is because they feel that you're going to reject them. But I'm getting this message from Spirit, and Spirit is saying, listen out and hear out, and you will know if this person is telling you the truth or not. They have to be very careful what they say to you, though. OK, but I'm saying, you know, in this energy, because you ain't got time for the nonsense. You People are getting too old. People are getting too serious. To, uh, people are not playing the games anymore. Once upon a time, people could get away with playing these stupid chess games with people. But it's not working anymore because people have wised up. People's third eyes is open. People is ignition. Uh, you know, intuition has kicked in. And when I say intuition, intuition is when you are guided and protected by your guides and your guides and your angels and your ancestors is whispering in your ear telling you what the nonsense these people are doing so you have the protection you're guided and protected so you know when the nonsense is coming at you you get what i'm saying collective <laughs> you, you you're following what i'm saying anyway you're too busy manifesting. So let's get some more cards out and find out what the hell's going on here. So now we've got to see. You see what I mean? This person wants success with you now. They didn't see the success with you before. This is the six of wands. They didn't see the success. That card keeps coming out. Now, I've got this head song stuck in my head that I've had in there since Friday or Thursday. Winner by Freddie McGregor. Freddie McGregor. I, I was born a winner. It's like this person recognises who you are now, that the successful person that you are. But they didn't see before. But do you know what as well? You didn't show them certain things for a reason. You didn't show them certain things for a reason because you want to see where that was coming off. Because the message I've been getting lately is that you was a gift to this person. And this person and, and spirit wanted to see what this person was gonna do with this gift. And they effed it up royally. You was handed to them in a platter and they messed up royally. So now we've got the chariot here. So look, they see you, they want to move forward to their happiness. But do you see this chariot? It's like this person is kind of like troubled and stressed even though we don't want to move forward to this situation because they see the happiness in you now it's been mirrored back to them what they've been doing these cards are they 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 like these cards are just ridiculous but do you see can you see that person holding two faces is like it's like they can't make up their mind it's like they're coming and going it's like they're going forwards coming backwards do you know that what i'm getting with that it's almost like this person wants to communicate with you. They want to send you a text. And they, they say, just as they're going to press the text, they're like, no, 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 I can't do it, I can't do it. And they delete the text. And then they think, oh, no, I've got to do that text, I've got to do that text. It's like they don't know what to do. They want to come forward and they keep stalling. They want to come forward and they keep stalling. Do you know what I mean? And it's like they really want to come to the heart of the matter. They really know, know that they need to come forward with some kind of an apology or something. But I don't know. This is getting deep. <laughs> Let's get another card out, people. Find out what the hell is going on. So look in. Oh, the devil. Do you see what I mean? Now, this is why I was saying, right? This is why I was saying. The one about that day. This is why I was saying this story can change, okay? Because this person wants to come with their emotional self. But are they doing it with ill intent? Because the devil is here. It's like they're trying to, they want to come forward in a different, remember I was saying to you about the different guys? They want to come to you in a different way, right? In their devil energy, it's like they want to tempt you back in some way. The devil is not necessarily like evil, evil. It's like temptation. It's like, this is what I'm saying to you. This person is still in their lust energy, 
Okay, so, you know, this is not for everybody. It's not going to be everybody's story. But what I'm saying to you is the devil energy is here. And in this is depicted as temptation. It's depicted as they're going to tempt you. They try and tempt you with something. They might be trying to come to you as financially attractive and want, want to use materialism as a way to trap you. They might come with the emotions because they know that you are actually somebody who comes from their heart space. It could be a number of things that they try Try and be financially attractive. Try and come with the emotions when they're not really that type of person. And um, they're going to come to you in a different guise and use temptation with the devil here as some kind of, I want to go on pizza with the book of God, want you. Me no no. But this is deep. <laughs> I've been this deep in a long time. What's going on? These cards. Anyway, the next card is strength. So what we've got here is that you found strength in rejecting this person previously, okay? And now this person is feeling rejected, but they're trying to show like this face, like they're strong. But really, look at this, look at this picture. Look at this strength card. Instead of a lion in most of them, it's a snake wrapped around somebody. It's the snake protecting you. You know, it's like this snake, like your guides will lash out. It's like your guides will lash out if somebody tries their nonsense. And that's why this first and the person is probably feeling the energy of like, they don't know whether to come forward or not because, you know, they feel like you might reject them because you've had the strength to reject them before. Because what I'm getting as well, and the message I keep getting as well, this is another message I keep getting is that, the 80s people didn't see your worth. It's like they didn't see your worth, okay? And so they rejected you. But all of a sudden, the minute you walked away or, you know, the minute you started shining, they realised who you are. They were very materialistic. I'm getting that they were really materialistic and they thought that you was not on their level. This is the message I'm getting. These people thought... That you was not on their level. And it wasn't even that. You're just not a materialistic person. They say, Vir I'm a Virgo. For example, I'm going to give you an example. Virgos, yes. I like to be comfortable, but I'm not materialistic. I can slum it with the best of them, which I do. Do you know, I would be one of those people just to go and travel the world. I would do it in a little old rickly camper van. I will stay in a one-class hotel, but I will spend the money where it's needed to be spent. Do you know, because at the end of the day, uh, you know, materialism, it's only so much you can do with materialism. They say that uh, some people think that money can buy you happiness and it can't. Do you know what I mean? At the end of the day, the only thing that I would spend money on if I needed to is my health. I would spend money on my health because you can't get your health back. But you can always make the money back. You can always make the money back. But you can't get the health back. And this is what pe some people don't seem to understand. So if you're trying to get, if you are looking for people that's on your materialistic level, instead of looking for somebody that can help you spiritually grow, you really are in a karmic cycle. You really are in a karmic cycle, for real, for real. Because if you're going to enter into, and I've said this on Sunday, and I've probably said it on, you're probably going to see the segment, but... I'm going to repeat myself here, okay? If you're going to enter into relationships, it should be for, for spiritual growth. And when I say spiritual growth, is that you're pushing both each, each other to learn every single day. You're pushing each other to actually come up together every single day. You're pushing each other to actually do things that you've never done before, to make money together, to do things, to step up. OK, and ever elevate yourself, both physically, emotionally, spiritually. And if there's somebody, if you're in a relationship with somebody and they're, they're, they're not helping you and you can't help them, if they're holding you back, if they're holding you down, if they're, they're you know, you come up with ideas and they're saying that's a load of rubbish. We're not doing that. But they're not doing nothing themselves. That is a relationship you do not need to be in. That person means you no good, and all they're there is to be is is it's a lust energy, it's a materialism energy, it's that kind of thing. They are not evolving. That the person's immature. They're not looking at their spiritual growth. They're looking at fun, but it can only have fun for so long. 
if you're not trying to spiritually grow, you have a problem. Because this is what this life is about, to elevate yourself. You know, all right, you have challenges and you hit rock bottom. But if you are the type of person that is trying to evolve spiritually, and spiritually just doesn't mean like what is ever in the ether. I mean, in the sense that, that you are trying to improve yourself every single day, that you are trying to learn every single day. Because I will never, uh, my mantra is, I'm going to tell you what my mantra is. I'll stop learning when I'm dead. Sink, take that in. Sink it. Make it sink in. I'll stop learning when I'm dead. Make that sink in. So I've just I've gone off on a tangent now. But here's the story. Somebody saw that saw you that you had the strength to reject them when they thought you wouldn't. I say all that to say. So anyway, the last card is the magician, the, the, the creatrix. And look what's come out, the Ten of Swords. This is a problem to this person, that you are manifesting and they didn't see it before. Do you know what I mean? And now this person feels like a victim. They feel victimised. They feel like this is a serious bunch of cards. Let me tell you something. This person feels like they're in victim mode. Whereas they have thought that you was the victim and that you was less than, that you wasn't worth anything, that they thought they could betray you and it's okay. Okay? It's now that's them feeling like the victim. Oh, what the one, bees? What the one? Let's just a bit this thing. So here's the story, people. Let's summarise. I'll give you a quick, quick summary. This person wants to step to you. They want to take some action. They want to communicate, okay? Because they see your success now where they didn't see it before. You are shining. You are... You... This person has seen you as their happiness. And they want to take off the mask that they were wearing now because they... they I'm getting that even with some of these people, they didn't tell you how they felt about you. They didn't tell you how they loved you. They didn't tell you how they felt about you. They were stony first. They were playing the player. They were manipulating you. They were gaslighting you. They were trying to trauma bond you to them so that you wouldn't go anywhere, but they could do what they want to do in the background. And now they want to come forward to you, but they're kind of up in their head. This is somebody up in their head. Do they have the structure and discipline to come forward to you with this chariot now? Do you know what I'm saying? And now here's the page of cups. Dun dun dun. Captain Saver Hole. Oh, in this in this <laughs> it's immature Captain Saver Hole. <laughs> they come and come with some different kind of something, make you scratch your head. I had this on Sunday. Then you want to scratch your head when this person comes with this nonsense because it's something different. But really, they might come with this lustful energy. They might, might come with, they might try and tempt you in some way, maybe in some try and make themselves look like financially attractive to you. Try and make some kind of lustful energy anything like that they're going to try something different that they haven't tried on you before but if this is a true divine counterpart you'll see them coming <laughs> I want that one please want that one and now they don't know whether what to do because all this is like in the ethers this is energy so they will feel the if this is a counterpart and they're actually coming they, they know what this journey is now they feel the energy and they feel like you're going to reject them you understand? They feel like you're going to reject them because you have the strength to reject them where you didn't reject them before. You went through many karmic cycles with this person and you stepped over that karmic cycle and they're still in it with their materialism and keeping up with the Joneses and, and trying to find partners because they tried all sorts of things to find partners that was on their level. And it's not about being on their level with money. It's about the spiritual growth. If you can't grow with people, it don't make no sense. <laughs> and this is what you need to understand. I want that one piece. What that one sword family. <laughs> gang, gang, what's going down? <laughs> Because look at now, they see you manifesting and it's a problem. So let's see what's at the bottom of the deck, because I'm not going to keep harping on this same thing. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. Do you know what? I'm going to have to do an extended and clarify some of these cards. I especially want to know about the devil entity, how they're going to come forward to you with their devil entity. I want to know why the page of wands is here now, because all of a sudden they want to come and contact you. What is it about you? That they want? And why is the sun card here with the two faces and the chariot looking so stressed what is all the injection oh there's so much to clarify here so if you want the clarifications of some of these cards and we're going i go deep i'm gonna go deeper it will be 
be on my Patreon. So come over to Patreon. The link will be in the description. But let's go down to the bottom of the deck. And this is what I've got here. You see, this is somebody who wants to take a leap of faith towards you. Somebody wants to take a risk before you. But what it is, do you see the chess games at the bottom? Do you see somebody stretching? This is about strategy. Although they want to take a leap of faith, it's like strategizing. Let's talk, look, here's the eight of wands. They might come out of that energy of strategizing, want to take the leap of faith, and they want to communicate in some way, shape, or form. They want this Ace of Cups. They really want this new emotional beginning. And it's making them stress out. This is the end. They like to try and try to give the appearance of soldiering on. But really, they're in this logic again. This is the King of Swords. Let me let me just let's have a look at this. And look, the death card. Do they want to transform this situation? They want to put a death to the old argument. They don't know how to, though. Look what I'm getting here. Look. Somebody wants to take a leap of faith. They feel like I'd be a fool. <laughs> and now they want to communicate. They feel like a fool for letting you go because spirit is showing me that you was a gift to this person. You was put on a platter in front of this person and they rejected you because they didn't understand what you brought to the... I hate using that term, brought to the table, okay? Because women don't bring things to the table. Is a man supposed to bring things to a table? A man is supposed to protect, profess, and provide, okay? And if you're an independent woman entering into a relationship, this man shouldn't be telling you about no 50-50, no man should be the I mean I'm talking about an opposite it could be a man woman whatever nobody the counterpart who is in their masculine energy should be coming to somebody and say hey what let's live together but we're paying 50 50 what kind of man make you what kind of masculine does that make you she said well if, if that's the case I could do this shit by myself if you want to do that you're supposed to show me something you are pursuing you're supposed to be pursuing me but you're telling me about 50 50 go with a damn attitude this is what i would say to that <laughs> i'm not missing no more i don't care if i die i let die alone all right i'd rather die alone and be independent and pay my own bills rather than some man come stepping to me with their nonsense because a man is supposed to protect preserve and provide Emphasis on the protect and provide. Professing is like making sure that you are, they're making sure that you will forever be wanting to be with them. That's what the professor is all about. The providing is being a man. He's supposed to be the man. He's supposed to be going out there finding the money, the plenty Kelly to deprive you because women are expensive. If you want a woman that is really going to be like, um, you want them to see a certain stat, look like a certain status, you're going to have to pay for their nails, their hair, their this. I could go deep. I'm not even going there. But anyway, let me get on with this story. So yeah, here what I'm getting here now is this person feel like a damn fool because now yeah, they see you glowing up and now they want to communicate because they want this new emotional beginning where they weren't giving it to you before. Okay? They're stressed about it because they come with this, they know they came with this King of Swords energy before in their logic. Okay? But you see right through them now and now they're stressed and worried and they're trying to soldier on but really they want to come to you because did you put this to death? This is the death card. You put this situation to death and you transformed yourself you're a different person do you know what i'm getting you are different people from when you separated from these people let me tell you you are somebody different you are put up with no nonsense no more you ain't putting up with their nonsense you see right through these people you've transformed and this is stressing out these people do you know what I'm going to do? I'm definitely going to extend this and answer some of these questions because me, I tell you, this is deep. So if you want the extended, please come and join me on Patreon where the gang gang is at, where I go deep and personal. And we do other things on there, but I do all the extendeds on there. They hardly ever come to YouTube. I do extra stuff on there and um, we chop it up on most Sundays. And now I was going to say I was going to once a month on a Sunday, but I don't think I can do that because I love doing the lives. I love doing the lives with my Patreons, which I don't do very often on um youtube 
But even that next year, I might just start doing that. Just maybe once a week or something, go live and then we can chop it up with the YouTube collective as well. But my voice is going now because I still got a very tight chest. I was I was ill. And, you know, I don't know if, you, if you're one of my people that follow the channel, but I've had a bereavement in the family. And it's, I, it's really not me for six, really. But um, I'm soldiering on and just life goes on, isn't it? You know, life goes on. So... On that note, I'm going to leave it there. Please subscribe, hit the alert bell if you're new to my channel. And welcome, if you are, I should have said that before, but welcome and happy new year to you. So until next time, take care. Nam yo harenge kyo.